Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today you guys can see my guinea pig cage and it's all open because my guinea pigs are actually in the carrier. Because today I thought it'd be fun to do a um, cage cleaning video. So let's get started. Okay guys, so let's get started. So um, my audio kind of cut out, so we're just going to do it like this. So there's my guinea pigs and their carrier. And here's my cute little cage. I love it so much. And yeah, so we're going to clean it and I think this is going to be really fun. So, I'm going to show you guys my bowls. I have the white bowl and then the smaller little bowl. Got the smaller one at Petco. And, um, yeah, and I like to deep clean them. And those ones I put in the dishwasher, which I did not show in this video, sadly. But um, I did put them in the dishwasher. There, There's their hay rack and their <laughs> dirty, dirty, dirty... Um, Heidi Hutch, and I'm just showing you guys again because I thought I didn't get that in. <sighs> and then you guys might even be able to hear my guinea pigs in the background, but it's just showing. Oh, and then I have this little wood toy thingy. Oh no, don't fall. Okay, and now I'm showing you what I have in the top. I have a hay rack um, with some chewy, with like chewies, whatever inside, and a um, another food bowl, which is like my small one. I think I just slipped there. <laughs> And now, I'm just kind of pushing those out of the way. And I'm going to show you guys the bedding I have. It's some paper bedding, and it's really nice. And um, I kind of don't want to show you guys what I have over here. I have this little bin. And it's so cute because you could sit on it, but then you can open it up, and it, has store it can be like a storage container. And I'm throwing out my gloves because I wear my gloves while cleaning and let's see oh i brought out that little spatula it's not a spatula but it's a thingy that i use to like pry i guess you'll see what i use it for in a little bit and then my cleaning supplies so i'm bringing that out oops <laughs> um to give you guys a closer look and that's my scraping tool and i'll scrape the x like the dry poop off i guess there's my new um spray clean bottle thingy i just got it and i'm excited to try it out and but I necessarily say I like um this um nature mira miracle or whatever it's called. I like that brand better, but we didn't have any and that's all we had, so we had to go with it. And my gloves, which I struggled to put on, and then I had some extra one for some reason. Now as I struggle to put them on, um I talk a little bit about my outfit because um, I was wearing a really nice outfit earlier, and um, I changed to that because it's okay if I got the these clothes dirty and poopy and smelly and whatever because it's a very dirty job. Now, um, I have a two-story cage, so I always start with my bottom story, which is just like a rectangle shape. The tray is a rectangle, and then I forgot to show you guys this. It's my bag, and it's a 55-gallon um, trash bag, and it's big enough to put my trays in and everything. So I'm just going to go empty out the poop. And then, so I put the tray in there and then dump it and then use the scrape tool to scrape it out. Hey guys, I just came back from a delicious dinner, and as I put on my gloves, I just want to tell you, it was probably one of the best dinners I've had in a long time. And now you can watch me, I'm using the scrapey tool to scrape off all the um, poop and dirt, and um, making it look really nice, and clean it up right before anything happens. Now, I'm using my spray bottle, which I'm really excited to use, um, and I'm spraying the whole tray, making sure it's covered with everything and i'm and i i think i went on something earlier about how is organic because i like to use organic vegetables for my guinea pigs and organic materials because i don't agree in pesticides and stuff like that i just don't think they're safe I've never have
wiping it down to get rid of everything else. And yeah, to just clean everything up. And I go back and forth between tools just to clean everything up. And it's a lot of paper towels to clean up the whole mess. So here's my little vacuum. It is perfect and the perfect size for me. It just cleans up everything. It took me a little bit to get everything to working because it didn't have that good of a suction. So I had to open it up midway and read. Yep, you could see me opening it up and I was like, it's not working, but it was perfect and I got everything back together. And then the suction, it was not at one part at one part it just was not doing anything so again i had to open it up and check and i saw that the tube was clogged so i couldn't do anything so it took me about like 20 minutes 20 40 minutes to actually get it unclogged and then um finally when i did um it started sucking again and the suction was a lot better um here's me just cleaning up and i'll see you in a minute This is me just opening up my new bedding I got and pouring it into the cage. And I pour a lot of it into there and make like actually a little mound and then spread it all around. And then do the same at the top and then I just add it a little more. And sometimes it falls and then afterwards um, I put all the stuff back in there. And put the guinea pigs on the top of the cage so I could get some hay and fill up their hay rack hay feeder and then put some hay into their cage because their hay rack on top is broken and um i started cleaning up putting everything away um untangling all the cords which was really nice sweeping up the floor a little bit um feet um putting food into all of the pet bowls and they kept on falling so it took me forever um Afterwards, I did fill up the water, um, closing and locking up everything, and just, like, sweeping around on my hands and knees a little bit, and shaking stuff off and whatever. Then I opened up the guinea pigs and put them back. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!